four games this week to get that streak going. That's what you accomplished. Yeah, no doubt. You know, and and uh, you know, not easy to do for sure. I thought you know Gardner Webb did a really good job uh, of just kind of battling us, and seemed like once we got something comfortable, it became uncomfortable. They they ended up scoring some runs on us, but great to finish the week four and zero. Coming off a win in Miami on Sunday, so five in a row. Now we got to take a little break here to let these guys finish their finals. You're looking to get some innings out of Finley today. Uh, five innings, 94 pitches, 67 strikes. That's, I guess that's what you're really looking for from him today. He threw a lot of strikes, you know, and I and I honestly thought he kind of got better as the game went on, and uh, had a great week swinging the bat, uh, and so just good week for him. Yeah, someone asked me if I've ever seen five home runs in an inning, and I, I don't know that I have. Um, and so, Clausen may know better than me. I don't know that we have ever uh, ever done that. So to hit five in one inning, pretty special. I guess the interesting thing was that the hardest ball that was hit was the last one by Stephen Reed, that line drive laid to the center field. Yeah, I, I didn't even dream when he hit it that uh, that it was going to go out, and I knew their center fielder was playing deep. So I kind of felt like he just hit it straight at the center fielder and ended up going over his head and out of the ballpark. Angelo, since you put him in the four spot, he's really been swinging the bat. I think his average is up to 400 now. Yeah, it is up to 400, five for five. Uh, that's a pretty special day as well. And, uh, you, you know, and again, just uh, he puts all the work in and competes really hard, wants to win, and he's a good teammate. So it's great to see that happen to him. He's a good competitor, and he had a nice little streak going of uh, scoreless innings, finally gave up a run, but then uh, started a, another streak there in the uh, last inning. So uh, he's been really good for us. He throws a lot of strikes, and he's a really good competitor. I guess the way Gardner Webb was swinging the bat, it was, it was good to see him get those first two outs as easily as he did. No question. No, no question. And, you know, I, I kind of said this, and I think sometimes it goes unnoticed, but uh, Jaden Jackson going and catching that pop up with two guys on in the eighth. Not an easy play. Son had to go a long way to catch it. I thought that was just a tremendous kind of game altering play that doesn't show up a lot of times in the uh, in the scorebook. How do you take care of this coming week with uh, no midweek game? Got to got to let them rest and study a little bit just so that they can uh, you know finish strong in finals and. Um, you know, we're off for sure tomorrow. We'll look at Tuesday, maybe off Tuesday, and then we'll kind of go light Wednesday and Thursday. We still have a lot of guys that have tests Wednesday and Thursday. So we'll just, uh, we kind of monitor them during this week. And uh, our guys are always good about being prepared, and I'm sure they'll uh, handle it in the right way, and we'll, we'll do the same thing. So you have a lot of upperclassmen that have gone through it before and know how to prepare for it and come back and get on the field and, and be ready to play, I imagine. No question. You always worry about your freshmen. You know, this is the most games they've ever played, probably the longest they've ever uh, worked out in their life, just preparing for a season and playing a season. So, um, you know, they'll, they'll get through it. And, uh, you know, we have a great support system and, um, you know, they're ready to go. I imagine you, uh, as far as your pitching staff goes now, you'll have a week for them to, you know, have their arms catch up with everything and, and uh, give you guys Yeah, no doubt. You know, I, I certainly don't. I don't have that answer right now. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we don't have a midweek game, so it, it'll be more on the lighter side, just preparing for Pitt.